Praise the Lord, everybody. On this Friday, we begin praying just a few moments. God is good, isn't he? He's good all the time. And all the time, God is good. And no matter what is going on, our trust remains firm in the Lord. want to encourage you. Stay encouraged. Stay encouraged. God is still on the throne. God still is there hearing our prayer. God still loves us. The whole world is in this situation, but we have this confidence in the Lord who loves us so much. We have this relationship with God such that we can call on his name and we're going to do that in just a few moments. In just a few moments, isn't it good that we can come together and pray to the Lord with one voice? It's good when we pray separately, but it's also good. And the Bible encourages us. It even gives us, tells us that this even adds something to to the power of our prayer when we, with one accord or in agreement. We pray to the Lord and call on his name that it adds to the power of it or the effectiveness exponentially. And so I'm here, but you're there. And we're going to call on the name of the Lord together. We're just going to spend a little time in prayer. Agreeing with one another. Supporting each other even in prayer. I was thinking of this song. I, I put it on that Yes I Can CD. Just that assurance that the Lord is there. So let me just share this with you before we go into prayer. It just says, Though the battle is raging here, we're not alone. We can go forward with our fear, singing a song. Things may seem worse, but don't despair. My Jesus said, promise me, he would always be there. Problems may come on every side, just like a flood. Remember, we in him abide under his blood when we call on his name in prayer my jesus said he'd always be there oh he'll be there to make it all right day and night we can depend on jesus our friend he has the power of heaven and earth in his hands we can Depend on him, trust in him. My Jesus said he would always be there. He'll be there. He'll be there. He'll be there. Jesus will, he'll be there. He'll be there. He'll be there. Yes, he'll be there. Fear, 
singing a song. Things may seem worse, but don't despair. My Jesus said, promise me he would always be, always be there. Hallelujah, the Lord is there. He said he'd never leave us or forsake us. He's there with us every step of the way. I need the oh, I need thee every Hallelujah. We need you, Lord. We need you every hour. We need you. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Let me just read this scripture and then we'll go into prayer. God put some things on my heart just to pray for. And I want to invite you to agree with me as I pray. But Psalm 18. We need these encouragements from the word. First of all, David affirms his love for God. He says, I will love thee, O Lord, my strength. I love thee, my strength. The Lord is my rock and my fortress and my deliverer, my God, my strength in whom I will trust, my buckler and the horn of my salvation and my high tower. I will call upon the Lord who is worthy to be praised, so shall I be saved from mine enemies. The sorrows of death compassed me and the floods of ungodly men made me afraid. The sorrows of hell compassed me about. The snares of death prevented me. In my distress, I called upon the Lord and cried unto my God. He heard my voice out of his temple and my cry came before him, even into his ears. I cried to the Lord and he heard me. And that is what the Lord does. He hears us. He promised that he would hear us. Especially as we're constantly going to him with contrition and, and repenting and being accountable to him. Because we belong to him. We are his children. And his children, he hears and delivers. And we just thank him for being our God, our Father, our Savior, our fortress, our high tower, our everything. Let's now go to the Lord in prayer. Lord, we thank you right now. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes to your will and to your way. Lord, we thank you right now. We thank you for your goodness. We thank you for your kindness. We thank you for everything you've done. Oh God, we say thank you. God, you are the sustainer of our lives. You preserve us from all trouble. God, we say thank you. You are a shelter in the time of storm. God, you are everything. 
You are God and there is none beside you. You are worthy of all honor. You are worthy of all glory. You are worthy of all praise. And we give you what you are due. Oh, we magnify you right now, our God, our Father. Oh, your throne is high and lifted up. God, we thank you right now. There is no one beside you. You are God. You are King. And we glorify you. Before we go any further, God, we lay our lives before you right now for inspection, for you to search. God, search our hearts. Is there anything in our hearts that shouldn't be there? God, remove it. Forgive us. Forgive us for wayward words and wayward thoughts, wayward actions, things that are not in keeping with who we say we are in you. Oh God, forgive us. Forgive us when we didn't do those things that you told us to do and when we did do those things that you forbade us to do. God, we lay our lives before you. We are accountable to you and we ask for your forgiveness. We ask you to wash and cleanse us from our sin. Forgive our transgressions. For with our whole heart, Lord, we want to please you. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Now we stand in faith before you with clean hands and a pure heart because we know according to the promise of the Lord that when we come to you and repent, you are faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. So thank you, God. Thank you, Lord, for cleansing us. Thank you, Lord, for a fresh, clean slate. Hallelujah. Now we say thank you. Thank you for so many things. God, you are just good to us. God, we're not hungry because you provide for us. We have shelter because you provide for us. God, because you care for us, we have clothing. We have the things that we need to live. God, we say thank you. We thank you for providing those things that allow us to exist and to live and even flourish, even in the time of trouble. God, that's the kind of God you are. You are our Father. And God, you take care of us. We thank you right now. Hallelujah. Oh, God. But we thank you for those things, even those things that, that are counted as spiritual. You put joy in our hearts. We say thank you. You give us peace of mind. We say thank you. You give us a praise on our lips. We say thank you. You are our song in the midnight hour. We say thank you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, God, for you give us all things which pertain unto life. We thank you for saving our souls. We thank you for filling filling us with your spirit. We thank you for your ever abiding presence with us such that we know that no matter what is going on, even when we walk through the fire and through the flood, the most terrible and difficult situations, we know that you are there with us. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. 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 Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, Lord. 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 Thank you. Thank you. We come, oh God, even as you commanded us to lay our petitions before you with thanksgiving. Hallelujah. And so right now we do. We lay our petitions before you right now, knowing that you are hearing us and you will indeed answer. God, pray with me. Pray. And God, we're praying right now for all of those who in this period, especially in this period, who have lost loved ones. Maybe they didn't lose them to the COVID virus, but they died during this time of turmoil, this time of, oh, this unusual time. And it has kept us from grieving the way we usually grieve. 
it has kept us from remembering the way we usually, usually remember. Oh God, to get those things, to get that closure. Oh God, it, it's, it's kept us from doing that. We, we, it's kept us from, from comforting one another with that wonderful hug. Oh God, we pray right now for those who have lost loved ones in this unusual, difficult time. God, we ask that although they have not been able to say goodbye in the usual way, that you will give them peace about the things that they were able to do, that you will give them contentment, oh God, that you will enable them to be at peace until they have a, another time to remember. Oh God, give them strength. Give them your comfort. God, replace the hug that we would have given them with your hug, God. The hug of your Holy Spirit. Oh God, the hug of your presence. The comfort that you give to each and every one that looks to you indeed for comfort. It looks to you indeed for strength. Oh God, grant it, Lord, in Jesus' name. Grant it, oh God. Help their families. Hallelujah. Help them, oh God. Help them not to be in despair. Thank you, God. Thank you right now because we know you hear, hear our prayer. We have many friends, many loved ones, many in the church. Even in our church, they, oh, one of our own sisters. But there's so many mother of one of my brothers and but all of us so many of us right now we have loved ones we couldn't get there we couldn't say goodbye but God we ask that you give us peace give all of those peace and contentment thank you God we thank you for your strength we thank you even for the joy that gives strength Oh God, hallelujah. Help those families. Help us all. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Now, Lord, we, right now we take time to pray for pastors. Pastors who are leading their congregations in this difficult time. Pastors who have a pastor's heart, who love the people that you've given them, given charge over. They have a love and a heart for the people. And this is a difficult time, for in this time, they are constrained by the things that have been put in place that keep them from doing, uh, executing their pastoral duties the way they would normally have. Oh God, and it has hurt them. It frustrates them. Oh God, maybe even makes them feel guilty. Oh God, but help them. I pray for them right now. For my pastor friends, my pastor brothers and sisters. Oh God, give them peace. Help them to know that they're doing everything that they can do. Oh God, help them right now. I pray for them right now. And I pray, oh God, that not only that you lift up their heads and lift up their hearts, even as they execute the duties that, that they have uh, uh, within the constraints that they have, oh God. But we pray right now that you will open the floodgates of creativity. Give them ideas and help them to operate and do what they do, need to do, even in this unusual, difficult time. Oh God, we pray right now that you will help them to help the people of God. We pray for them, oh God. Lift up their hands, encourage their hearts in Jesus' name. God, we pray also that as you give them these ideas and things to do, God, that you will open up the resources that they will have everything that they need to execute the ideas that you have put in their heart. 
for your glory and for your honor to help your people. God, we say thank you. Thank you. Thank you for those pastors. Thank you for their faithfulness. Hallelujah. We pray for them right now for not only do they have their congregations to take care of, but they themselves have lives. And so God, we ask for your, your help with them. Help them in their own lives. Give them strength to deal with the things and the situation in their lives, the needs in their lives, the needs in their families. Oh God, help them, oh God, as they help the people of God provide for them. Provide everything they need for their families, for their situations. Oh God, deliver them from all anxiety, all worry. Give them nothing to worry about because not only do they have the knowledge that you are taking care of everything, but they are seeing it manifested even in the natural world. God, we ask in Jesus' name that you do this for your pastors, your pastors everywhere, in the city, in the state in this country, all over the world, as they execute their duty, their charge, the charge that you have given them, as they are faithful to you and to the people of God. In Jesus' name, amen. And now we pray even for those congregations, those congregations that they lead. We pray for them. that the people of the Lord, that the congregations that those pastors are leading would indeed be blessed, blessed with all that they need to, to survive. God, that you, you would give them all the natural things, bless them with the food, the clothing, the shelter. Oh God, let them know that you are taking care of everything. Oh, God, bless them. Let it be manifest in the natural, God. Let them see the glory of the Lord in your provision. Let them see the glory of the Lord in your care for them. Oh, God, hallelujah, hallelujah. You are indeed our provider, our protector. Oh, God, we pray for those congregations, for the people of the Lord. We pray for GHT, my, my congregation, oh, God, the congregation where I serve. But oh, my brothers and sisters, they also take care of congregations. Oh God, bless them right now. Let the testimony be like the children of Israel in Goshen, that although there were plagues and there were trials in the land of Egypt, in Memphis, in, in, the, in, the, in the city, oh God, but the place where the people of God resided, all was well. Oh God, let all be well. Let them see your glory. In Jesus' name, thank God. Amen. Hallelujah. All that I need. Oh. <laughs> Is in Jesus. <laughs> he satisfies. Joy. He supplies. Life would be worthless without Him. All things in Jesus. I, 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 I find hallelujah. All that we need is in you, O oh God. Oh, God. God, we pray now for our land. We pray that you'll heal our land. You said if we turn to you and repent, oh, God, and seek your face, that you'll hear from heaven and heal our land. God, we're asking your people, your children, that you would heal our land. Oh, God, heal our city, heal our state, heal our country, heal this world. Oh, God, deliver us from this plague in Jesus' name. Oh God, let your mighty power be used against it. Work a miracle, oh God. Dissipate this virus in Jesus' name, we pray. 
Oh God, heal our land. Heal our land in every way, Lord. Oh God, our land needs a healing, even economically. Oh God, oh God, there's been economic turmoil. Oh God, but we're asking in Jesus' name that you heal our land economically. Oh God, lift us up, lift up, lift us up out of this turmoil, out of this morass, out of this, this crazy time, oh God. Heal our land. Heal our land, Lord. Heal our land. Oh God, and even as we're going through this thing, oh God, oh God, help us to operate in wisdom and in love for one another. Even as we do those things that we must do for each other, not just for ourselves, but for each other. Oh God, give us that wisdom, but more so give us that love that we would do the things that we need to do to protect our brothers, to protect our sisters to protect our fellow man. Heal our land, Lord. Heal our land. We pray right now, even as your scripture bade us to do, we pray for those in authority. We pray for them right now that they would do the right thing. That they would operate in a wisdom that not that does, that does not come just out of their imagination, oh God, but that comes from you. Oh God, we pray for them right now. We pray that they would have, have the thing on the inside such that or move them in that way that they would make their decisions for the good of the people that they would have a wisdom that's beyond even themselves. Thank you, Lord. We pray for them right now. We have hope in you. We pray because we believe that you can move men's hearts, that you can touch them. Oh God, and so we do. We pray for them right now. We pray for those, all those in authority at the national level, at the state level, at the municipal level, at the county level, God. Oh God, whatever they need, the things that they need to do, the decisions that they have to make, even in terms of uh, providing relief and monies and all of these, oh God, lead them and guide them. Oh God, move by your spirit, touch the heart of the king. Hallelujah, 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 touch the heart of the king. That they move on behalf of your people, that they move on behalf of the people that they move on behalf of the land. Oh God, we thank you right now because we're believing and having faith in you that as we call on your name and pray for them, that you will touch them in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord. We pray right now, oh God, as we pray for the nation, as we pray for the healing of the land, we pray for the problems specifically in the nursing homes. There's a terrible thing going on there. Oh God, but we pray they need your extra covering. They need an extra deliverance. We pray many of us have friends or, or loved ones in nursing homes and facilities and they are susceptible to this thing. God, we pray, oh God, that you will keep them and cover them in Jesus' name. Deliver them, oh God. Heal them. We thank you right now for that special covering for those who are in nursing homes or facilities where rehab facilities, or anywhere where they're held. God, we even pray for those who are, we pray for those who are even in, in prisons, uh, in places where they've been grouped together against their will. Well, well, they, it is just a situation, God. But God, Right now, we ask that you cover them, keep them from this disease. Our prayers for them. We know someone in there. We know someone who's incarcerated. We have sons, we have daughters. Yes, Lord. Keep them, Lord. Keep them in Jesus' name. We pray for them by your mercy. In Jesus' name. God, now we ask it, that you will indeed in this time draw men's hearts to you, 
This is a time of salvation. Move them toward you, God, as they're looking for answers, as they're looking for, for, for ways to assuage the, the hurt or to deal with the anxiety. Lord, Lord, hold yourself up as the answer. Help us in, as the people of God to be ready to give an answer to every man. Oh, God, that you indeed are their hope. Oh God, we ask in Jesus' name that you would remove the hopelessness of man, the, the despair, oh God, even as they turn to you. Oh God, move that anxiety, move that worry. In Jesus' name, our trust is in you. Our trust and our faith is in you. We thank you, oh God, for saving. We thank you, oh God, for filling with your Holy Ghost. Thank you, God. We thank you for everything that you are doing for us. You are a faithful God. There is none beside you. Now we ask in Jesus' name that, that right now someone has even a request that they, they haven't been able to, to, to tell me about. But God, you know what it is. God, meet that need. Meet that need, God. Answer that request. They're praying for their sons. They're praying for their daughters. They're praying for their nieces and nephews. They're praying for their mothers and fathers. Oh God, touch them. Meet that need in Jesus' name. Whatever it is, God, do it, Lord. God, everyone that is listening right now, everyone that is joining in this prayer right now, touch them right where they are. Not only heal them, oh God, but we ask that you will move in them in a spiritual way. Oh God, give them that thing that they need to keep going on. Oh God, that joy, that strength, that Holy Ghost stamina. Oh God, touch them right now. Give them peace of mind. Oh God, let them feel your mighty power. Let them feel your presence right Right now, where they are, give them a praise on their lips. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. We trust you right now for everything. We, God, we just thank you for answering our prayers. For even in the midst of all of this, you are still answering prayers. You have healed someone that we called, on, on whose behalf we called on your name, and we say thank you. We thank you for that praise report. We thank you because you're still working miracles. Working miracles. Oh God, we say thank you. Now, even as we close this prayer, we ask that you will continue to be with us, Lord. Let your presence be with us. Continue these next few days to lead us and guide us. Oh God, let us walk in your way. Show us your glory, even on tonight, God. Oh God, let us see that you are God and that you are with us. Be with us on today. Be with us on Saturday. Be with us until we come together on Sunday. We thank you so much because you love us. And with all of our hearts, we love you. We give your name honor. We give your name glory. We give your name praise as we pray in Jesus' name. Thank God. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 We continue to pray. We pray and thank God for those who are on the front line, those medical workers, firemen, police. We pray for them that God will cover them. Also, there are those even in, of, of our own ministry who are continuing to, to be available to pass out food. And, and that is one of the least things we can do. We can pass out food so that people will not be hungry. We thank God for his releasing various resources and coming from various directions. And the people of God, you've been faithful, you've given, and so that's enabled us to do things, but also some resources have come from some other places and enabled us to be a blessing. And that's what we want to do. I mean, that's what we believe God has put us here on the earth, to be that witness for him, to be that ambassador for him, to assuage the suffering in this world as he has provided us with resources. And so we thank God for that, for that opportunity 
to do just that. I want to thank you again for the for all of you. Uh, I, it's not only the Greater Holy Temple, but those who are a part of our extended family. We have an ex extended family. There are those who are not a part of, officially a part of Greater Holy Temple, but you are giving to the ministry because you believe in what we're doing. And I so thank you so I thank you so much. And 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 you're faithful. You're some, some of you are sending tithes and you're sending offerings or special gifts, and that helps us to do ministry. And we indeed thank you. And we are praying for you. I'm not just praying for GHT. I'm praying for all of those, all, everybody, everybody. Yes. Yes. I'm praying for you that God would show himself in your life. Look, let me tell you this. And I, I, I am going to go. Yes. In this time. Yes. We, we certainly want to look to God to be our deliverer and our healer, but don't forget the greatest thing that he can do in our our lives is to save us, to make us his son and his daughter, to change that relationship of being a stranger or being estranged from him because of our sin and to become then one of his own because he's taken away our sin. As a matter of fact, let me just pray. Maybe there's somebody that, that loves, uh, wants to have that new relationship with the Lord. And so I just want to take a little time and just pray. And then I'm, I'm finished. Father, in Jesus name, and you can pray with me. I forgive me for my sins. I know I'm a sinner. I believe that Jesus Christ died on the cross for me, shed his blood for my forgiveness. He died, but he was raised from the dead. Lord, by that precious blood, wash my sins away. I receive you right now, Jesus, as my Savior, and I make you my Lord. I will walk in your way and learn how to do what you want me to do. Thank you, O oh God, for saving me. Fill me with your spirit that I may be led by you each and every day. Thank you, O oh God, for saving me. Thank you, O oh God, for making me your son. Thank you, O oh God, for making me your daughter. Thank you, O oh God, for everlasting life. I thank you as I pray, believing in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Well, that is it. That is it for the evening. Yes, I, yes I'm on time. I don't want to take a lot of time. But it's good for us to come together and pray to the Lord. Now, continue praying. I always say that as God puts faces in front of you or a name in front of you or some subject that right then and there pray. You don't have to have that special. Just start praying right then and there. Whatever it is, you hear a siren, pray. If you see something on television, don't just say, mm, 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 but amen, pray. That's it because that's what God tells us. He says, pray, pray, pray. Let your supplications before me with thanksgiving. Amen. That's what we do. God is good. God, be with everyone, everyone that trusts you. Let your presence abide with them. Oh, God, keep them in the safest place we know. It's in the very hollow of your hand until we gather together once again to worship and praise your name and magnify you. We ask in Jesus' name as we believe you and give you honor and glory and praise because you deserve it. Thank God. Amen. Peace be unto you. Peace be unto the saints. God bless you. And remember, I guess I just started saying this because it is absolutely true. I love you. I love you. I love you. Good night. Be with God.